Hi, Andrew here. I've got some more best millimeter for you today. Today we're going to take a look at 10 millimeter Supervel 160 grain solid copper hollow point. We're going to shoot it out of my EAA witness into Clear Ballistics Clear Gel. Now again, these solid copper hollow points tend to do pretty well. Um, Supervel has so far had a pretty decent record, at least with the solid copper hollow point ammunition that we've seen so far. I don't expect that the 10 millimeter will do much worse than the other calibers that we've tested. However, I've been wrong before. If you care to make a prediction, now is the time to pause the video and make a comment. Otherwise, let's get out to the range. All right, finally able to <laughs> capture two shots consistently. Would have taken a couple more, uh, but I had a very limited quantity of ammo for this. First shot penetrated 16.9 inches. The second went to 15.1 inches. So just about perfect, really. I think this second one might have gone a little bit deeper, but um, it looks like it angled down a bit and it may have drug on the table. Yeah, <laughs> it's sticking out here. So it could have gone a little deeper. I wish I had more ammo to take a couple more shots to get the true penetration depth, but in any case, it passed the minimum and that's the important part. It was able to expand, pass a minimum. I'd call that a pass. There's the other one, also expanded, also passed the minimum. Let's take a look at the bear gel. The bear gel side, one of them stopped here at 15.5 inches. The other exited the block at exactly the same point, 15.5 inches. That's the one we saw on the high speed. So in both cases, both in bear gel and in heavy clothing, we see absolutely textbook perfect penetration. Again, heavy clothing. and bear gel. If we set them right next to each other, we can see that the, uh, the amount of expansion is virtually identical. This just doesn't care about heavy clothing. We'll get some better photos and some measurements at home, but here's a close up. Don't want to mix them up because there's no way I could tell them apart. And then that's the 
there, Jill. All right, what can I say? Uh, extremely consistent, perfect performance. Shot to shot, uh, both the appearance and the measurement of the projectiles was extremely consistent, as well as the penetration depths. Every single metric was dead on what we want to see. But if you're thinking to yourself that the velocity was kind of weak sauce for 10 millimeter, especially from a company called Supervel, well, you're not wrong. Um, it is a little bit low for a 160 grain projectile, but solid copper hollow points are longer for their weight than lead core hollow points. That means they have a longer bearing surface and therefore more friction. For example, a 155 grain TAC XP is actually a little bit longer than a 200 grain XTP. Um, the TAC XP being solid copper and the XTP being a lead core bullet, it may be more fair to compare the velocity of this 160 grain projectile to a 200 grain lead cord bullet because contrary to popular belief, it's not really the mass of the bullet that's the limiting factor in regard to pressure. It's the friction. And as I mentioned, those longer solid copper bullets have more bearing surface, therefore more friction, therefore you get to higher pressures faster so we probably shouldn't expect full-on nuclear performance from the 160 grain 10 millimeter. Regardless of all of that, irrespective of velocity, the performance metrics were dead on what we want to see. And if you're one of those Tim Allen more power kind of guys, well then this isn't the load for you because it isn't trucking along that fast. But it is turning in absolutely perfect metrics and in my book, that's what matters. If you disagree with me, and I'm sure some of you do, it's fair enough, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear it. If you want to find out how you can rent a Phantom high-speed camera just like the one that I used for this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is right down there in the doobly-doo. Have a great day.